Now Pondal Yak. Cross isn't great, but skipping through was Gumprecht, who almost took it in his stride. Pondelyak might get a second bite. In the end, Talley comes away for the home team. Finds York, who can turn and look up and release Carney. It's Carney for Sydney FC, but good work. Still they come. Talley, Dwight York, Carney. York might get the return. Still York. Dwight York goes all the way. And there is the opening goal crafted by York for Andrew Packer. Well, it was a wonderful, wonderful move from Sydney FC. It started all the way back in their own half with Tele playing it through to York out to Carney. They managed to get a tackle. Regain the ball. 1-2 with Carney. Good strength here. Dwight York cutting inside. Whipping that across, no chance for John Crawley. Great play from Dwight York. And Packer did what he had to do coming in from the left-hand side. You see the strength. Whips this one across, slight deflection. And that's an easy finish for Packer. All those years of international experience showing from Dwight York, using the body, using a bit of guile. Now York being pressured, Petrie plays it in, a chance for the Mariners, they cry for a penalty, and it's given against Mark Rudin, who cannot believe it. Massive jeer goes up from the cove. O'Leary is going to play arbitrator just around the D here. There'll be all sorts of debate going on there. And there it is. Stuart Petrie gets the Mariners back to 1-1. Great penalty from Stuart Petrie. Decisive. Picked his spot and hit it there, hit it there with pace. See here Petrie playing in Tommy Pondliak. A clash, Pondliak goes down. O'Leary pointing to the spot and Petrie dispatches it. Gave Bolton no chance. It was clumsy from Rudin. Certainly no intent as we watch Petrie do the job. Little dink over the top from Pondliak who goes for the return ball. He's gone. And the Central Coast Mariners take the lead. And a good strike from Andre Gumprecht. Talked about him. Hasn't been very influential on the match so far. You can't get much more influential than this. Sydney just don't deal with it. Checkley and Rudin going for the same ball. Gumprecht goes in by himself. Here we see Rudin, Checkley. Same ball with Pondliak, it drops, falls nicely, good strike, keeps it down, low across the keeper, 2-1 to Central Coast. Carney releases Talley. Ball in for York, it's drawn! Sydney FC and the marquee signing brings the Glamour Club back to 2-2. What a wonderful move. Talley breaking down the right-hand side. But he got his head up. He saw Dwight York's run. Played in by David Carney. This one between the defence and the goalkeeper. And cool as you like, Dwight York buries it. All about the weight on the delivery and cushioned beautifully by York. His third goal in the Hyundai A-League. Spencer. 
ball on the inside. And the whistle goes from O'Leary as we see three minutes of extra time. Kwasnick claims it was inside the box. Yeah, it was a good little run in behind. In five caught out, but the referee's got that absolutely right. It's just outside the box. But Sydney having dominated this second half and most of the match, it must be said, would be devastated to concede here in injury time. Spencer. And it's gone in! I do not believe it! That is an incredible deflection off the free kick from Noel Spencer. into 92 minutes they celebrate even the marinators cannot believe it well that's cruel on sydney there's no doubt you see the free kick noel spencer hits it the charges it comes off one of those and cruelly goes over the head of bolton and into the net and sydney do not deserve to lose this match but lose it it looks like they will